Hello students, uh, now we are going to start our third video for grade 7 physics. Understanding how sound travels through materials. Whales are known to transmit sound in the ocean over distance of 700 km. That means the sound of whales can travel over 700 kilometers. If the whale were to transmit these same sounds in the air, would they travel faster or slower? They will travel slower. Why? Because water has more particles in uh, comparing to air. Sound in vacuums. Most of the sounds that you hear are transmitted by vibration air particles. That means sound is made from what? Made from what? Sound is made from or how it travels. Transmit meant how it travels by particles. That means when particles vibrate, sound is being generated. Particles of gas. Sound can tr also travel through solid or liquid. Sound waves need particles of matter to transmit energy as the particles vibrate the energy is passed on adjacent particles and carried in a form of waves so because of the particles the particles vibrate and they generate waves transmit so this is how it's been uh, it's been transmitted Sound cannot travel through a vacuum. Why sound cannot be travel through vacuum? Because in vacuum there is no particles. So when there is no particles, what will happen? It will not. It they will, it won't collide. So how sound is generated by what? By colliding of the particles. When they collide together, they generate vibration. So in vacuum there is no particles. So nor there will be no sound transmission of the sound no through the space which has hardly any particles in as i say question answer i will let you to uh, i will let you answer by yourself if you have any questions you can ask me and i have already attached uh, a pdf file in madarisnet and it's answered so if you have any question you did not understand you can ask me can see here sound material it's a table shows speed that sound travels through a different materials air materials air speed of sound is 343 oxygen 316 carbon dioxide 259 water 1482 lead 1960 copper uh, 5010 steel 5960 and diamond is 12,000 sound particles it's a sound uh, particles of matters in solid liquid and gas differs in their arrangement and behavior so it says solid liquid gas in the particles they act differently you can see here gas these are particles in gas particles in liquid and this is going to be your this is particles in solid the effect how well the sound waves can travel through them the speed at which the wave moves and depends on the arrangement of the particles that means how your sound moves it depends the arrange how the particles been arranged depend on the arrangement of the particles the elastic nature of the force between them and how fast the particles are moving now in gas the particles are very far apart sound travels slowly 
because the particles do not collide very often. Why do sounds uh, travel slowly? Because the particles are not colliding with each other okay, uh, occasionally. That means they take uh, the uh, uh, particle do not collide very often. So they take time to time they are colliding but not often. If uh, in liquid particles are much more closer to one another, sound travel more quickly because particles are able to collide with each other much more frequently. Now comparing to gas, liquid, the particles in liquid, you can see that they are able to collide more frequently comparing to gas. Sound travel about five times faster through liquid than it does through gas. So sound travel five times faster comparing to gas. In solid particles, in, a soli uh, in the solid particles are packed very closely together. Also, the force between the particles are more elastic. The solid, as you can see here how they are solidly packed together. The vibrating particles collide with neighboring particles and bounce back very quickly. So the sound waves progress very quickly. So if you see, uh, take a solid matter and you uh, hit it, that means you will see that it the sound travel faster comparing to liquid or gas. Why? Because you can see that the particles are uh, packed very closely together and the particles are colliding with neighboring particles and bounce back very quickly. So the sound waves progress very quickly. Now what are the particles? Particles, a very small part of atoms or molecules are known as particles. This one, this small square, this is known, going to, is, we will say that this one is going to be your particles here. Vacuum. Now what is vacuum? Space, where there is no particle is known as vacuum. You can see here, there is no particle here. So this is known as vacuum. Hypothesis is what? An idea explained based on facts is known as hypothesis. That's a hypothesis mean an idea explained on, on the basis or fact. Learning about the reflection and observation of the sound. A concert hall are designed for a good acoustic uh, so that the music sound, uh, uh, sound good to the whole audience. This means controlling the amount of echo and making sure sound reaches all corners different materials and shapes are used to achieve the sound so it means that they made a concert hall in a way so that the sound reflects or the echo they can listen the echo so the whole audience would audience are over whom those who are in the concert the people those who are attending uh, the concert are known as audience Effect of materials on sound waves. Echo are sound waves that are reflected back to our ears. So what is an echo? You can see here. This is a main source. When the sound goes and it comes back. This, when it comes back, this is known as an echo. An example of an echo is that when you stand in an empty room and you say something, you will see that your sound or your voice is reflecting back. This is known as an echo. Hard flat surface reflect the sound because hard flat surface reflect sound well produce sound echo. That means if the first surface in front of you, example this one, this is hard, it will reflect harder. Soft surface materials contain lots of, it's a soft surface material contains lot of packets like Fabric, form, sponge are not good reflecting sound because they will absorb. So they will absorb, they will 
hold that sound it will not allow the sound to be echoed or reflect as it should be as it happens in a hard surface so they absorb it the sound wave transfer the energy to the air in the pocket so less is reflected so what will happen when this when when this is we uh, this uh, is soft or sponge or is fa fabric what will happen the sound will absorb it will not come back that means when it's hard it reflects harder when it's uh, observable like it's using foam or fabric what will happen it will reflect but it's not going to reflect as harder comparing to your uh, stronger uh, 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 stronger surface Some materials can be shaped to reflect sounds in addition in different ways. Look at the jagged surface in figure 1.6.15c. When the sound wave hits the surface, the reflect waves do not bounce back to a source. You can see here, see the surface is, is jagged surface. So when it will not reflect back, they are instead they reflect randomly mostly waves from a source. The curved surface on the other hand reflect the sound until all the energy sources towards a particular point. The sound at this point will be loudest whereas in the places away from it hardly sound. You can see here that this is a source and this is a jacked. You can see that sound is bouncing differently that means not coming back to its source. And this one the curved one it will reach to a you can see it will uh, to this point but if anyone here this side they won't be able to listen to the sound uh, hardly they're going to listen to the hard, uh, sound okay when soundproofing now what does soundproofing means materials that absorb the sound is known as soundproofing okay. when sound waves hit soft surface they are absorbed the air pockets the sound waves become trapped and bouncing around in the air pockets until the all energy is transmitted transferred into heat any sound reflect from the surface is therefore much quieter as the sound wave have much uh, less energy so what happens when it reached to it bounced absorbed by the air pockets the sound wave become trapped that means it, uh, it's been trapped inside the, uh, that uh, absorb, uh, uh, soft surface and bouncing around in the air that means it will start colliding with the air and when it collides with the air what will happen it will transfer in as a heat because of what because of friction any sound reflect from the surface is therefore much quieter as the sound wave have less energy these soft materials are useful as soundproofing. Vacuum is also in a soundproofing. Sheet glass with a nearer vacuum between them. Very few gas particles are very effective in sound, uh, stopping sound. So vacuum and uh, say the sheet of the glass with a near to vacuum. So they are soundproofing. Why? Very few gas particles because it has less particles. 
as we said that more particles it will generate more sound or transmit more sound and if have less uh, particles it will transmit less sound and if it does not have any particles it won't transmit any sound in outdoor environment tree embankments and dense bush bushes are often for uh, soundproofing around the mines areas mining area that means see that bushes sometimes they act as a sound proofing so uh, reflect as a redirect or bounce back that's the meaning of re reflect absorb means a sound when it comes to it it don't let it bounce back that's a meaning of to absorb soundproofing materials that observe the sound so soundproofing that absorb the sound is known as sound proofing like waterproof and this is soundproof hearing sound the ability to hear is important in all the animals for communication hearing predators knowing when there is a danger and seeking prey a human ear relies on combination of process and ingenious engineering to help us to identify the wide range of sound waves we receive a human ear ears of hearing that means how does it hear a human ear is divided into three parts human ear is divided into three parts the outer ear the middle ear and the inner ear so human ear is divided into three parts the outer ear is the part that can be seen on the outside this one this is your outer part So this is your this is going to be your outer part it said the outer ear is the part that can be seen on the outside of your head its job is to capture sound waves capture means it catches the sound waves so the role of outer ear part is to capture the sound waves the waves passes along the ear canal to the ear drum so it goes from ear canal here this is ear canal here to ear drum this is your ear drum this this separates the outer ear and the middle ear so this separates the outer ear and the middle ear the eardrum transfer the energy from the vibration of the bones called OC cell here this bone OC cells here in the middle ear which make the tiny vibration much bigger so this will vibrate and it will make the vibration it send it pass the signal the sound waves the energy this energy is passed to an inner ear which contains specialized cell that detects the vibration so it passed into inner ear which detects the sound waves So this energy is passed on the inner ear and which contains specialized cells that detects the vibrations and convert them into electrical signal so sound waves here is being converted uh, sound waves been converted into electrical signals and these are sent to the brain which interprets them so the signals after converting them here 
these uh, signals have been sent to brain and it interpret that means it translate which type of sound is so uh, sound it is structure of human ears Uh, the function of job, uh, the function means job of an ear. So the function and job of the ear is to transfer the energy by sound into electrical impulses that are interpreted by brain. So here, the function, the job of ears were to transfer the energy by sound into electrical impulses, electrical signals that are interpreted by the brain. So later on brain will translate which type of sound it is. You can see in the figure structure how it goes. You have outer in the uh, ear canal, semicircular canal, ocellus, eardrum, cochlea and auditory nerve. As you can see in this diagram that how actually it works. This is your outer. This is ear. How actually it works. Sound transmitted. Yeah. Here you can see here. This is not oracle guide sound that means an uh, external auditory canal middle ear and inner ear this is your inner ear and auditory path and cochlear nerve and is to chain tube so you have in this there are some extra information so we will study about it more in other grades this is ear bone hammer that means how it actually works cochlea this is your cochlea here. He is being. This is that means the role of it that to convert the sound waves into electrical signal. Then you can see here organs. Come back to it. So here cells that means to detect the sounds. You can see here nerve fibers as I said. Coming back. to our ear overall this is your auditory path then you have sounds you can see here and this is your auditory nerve that means finally the sound waves after converting in cochlea it will go it will pass through an auditory nerve to brain to enter uh, the uh, signals Can see a middle ear, middle uh, outer ear, middle ear, and then you have inner ear. Auditory pad, auditory cortex, stratic tube. See here. Okay, let's move back to. Let's move speech.
you can see that how it's been transmitted you have start from here and a vibrating object such as a trumpet produce sound waves then the sound waves travels through the air to the ear then the vibrating air enters the ear and in a funneled in the ear canal here it's the third step fourth the vibrating air sets the eardrum vibrating here the eardrum transmit the vibration to oscillus bones which start vibrating the small bone the vibration of oscillus are amplified and transmit to the fluid in co uh, cochlea that means as i said that the role of cochlea is that to convert this sound waves into electrical signals so there's a fluid or we'll say liquid which do this job and cells lining in cochlea detects the vibration and convert them to electrical signals the last step is the auditory nerve transmit the electrical signal to brain that means the final step is that the signal passes through auditory nerve to the brain to uh, to trans it transmit to interpret that means it translate what is the sound okay let's come to this one adaptation of ears the eardrum is like a tiny drum skin muscles keep it very rigged so even the slight vibration cause it to move back and forth that means it's really rigged that means even a slight even a small movement will move it backward and forward the three small connected oscillus are this is important class the three small oscillus are uh, are called what malleus in incus and stapes the malleus is connected to the eardrum and the stape is connected to a cochlea cochlea the eardrum has a surface area of 55 mm square but that of the stape is only about 3 mm square the energy of the vibration is transmitted through much reduced area this multiply the pressure of about multiply pressure of 20 times of amplifying the vibration as the are passed on a cochlea a cochlea is filled with a leaf fluid or liquid enabling the sound vibration to travel much faster it has thousands of tiny uh, hairs cells that converts the sound waves into electrical signal so inside a cochlea uh, enabling this uh, is uh, filled with the fluid enabling the sound vibration to travel much faster it has thousand tiny hairs with uh, hair cells that converts the sound waves into electrical signal which are passed through your auditory nerve so role of auditory nerve is to transmit the signal electrical signal to the brain ear canal where the sound waves enters then you have eardrum a membrane in the ear that transfer energy sound into inner ear uh, oscillus a tiny bone in the ear that amplify vibration cochlea a part of inner ear uh, inner ear transfer the sound waves into electrical signal that means it convert the sound waves into electrical signal auditory nerve auditory nerve take that electrical signal to the brain understanding factors affecting hearing The ability to hear different sound varies widely across the animal kingdom. Many animals hear sounds that human are totally unaware of. That means some of the animals they can hear sound as human we cannot hear. Some animals do not have ears, but other organs have adapted to detect sound. That means they do some animals don't have ears, but they have other organs so they can adapt or detect the sound. Our own hearing can be affected by factors 
such as disease that means our hearing can be affected that means could be our ear could be damaged by hearing ability can be affected by factors such as disease ear damaged caused by a loud sound and it is important to learn how to protect our hearing protecting our hearing how you can protect your ears or your earring hearing human ear is only able to withstand that means they are only able to bear the sound of certain loudness that means as our human we can only stand certain level of sound too loud and our ear can be permanently damaged that means if we hear too much sound what will happen to our ears they will be damaged forever we can do several things to protect ourselves from noise how we can protect turn down the volume of the sound making device that mean keep the volume low increase the distance from the source of the noise that means be away from where the sound is coming like speakers don't stick to the speakers be away keep distance from it reduce the time to exposure to loud uh, sound that means if you listening to the loud sound don't listen it for long period of time reduce the time wear ear defenders that means ear uh, ear defenders that means which stops uh, loud sound a protection ear defenders what is a protection worn to reduce loud sounds obey the law follow the laws that limits the noise works uh, works place use soundproofing materials that means use the material which protects which absorb the sound so these are how you can protect your uh, hearing several factor can affect uh, our ears read about it in these tables we'll go move to the table back okay now cause of poor hearing and possible solution ear canal can be become blocked vast that means what causes uh, your uh, uh, poor uh, ear damaging or you won't be able to listen ear canal can become blocked with wax possible solution is what have ear canal cleaned out very loud sound can re re uh, rupture the eardrum what is the solution possible solution eardrum may heal itself over a long period of time that means rupture mean it might uh, it might be cut or it might be you won't be able to listen to so it may it will take bit of time to heal the eardrum eardrum can be damaged by infection if you have any infection it could be damaged so uh, use antibiotics to get rid of the infection that means use antibiotic medicine to get rid of that infection oscillus can become fused together an operation that means they won't be able to vibrate they become fused together stuck together so you need an operation is needed infection may occur in middle ear you might have an infection in middle ear so again you need to have an antibiotic medicine to get rid of that infection hair cells and nerve cells in the cochlea may be damaged by loud sound so if you might listen to a loud sound what will happen your hair cells the nerves those who detects the sound waves might be damaged and there's no cure for that and older people nerve cells may destroy it but that means they're getting uh, uh, they're getting weaker by time so they want you see that when a person is old like your grandfather or your grandmother they won't be able to listen to you carefully and there's no cure for that sound frequency what's a frequency the numbers of waves as set by a source the frequency of the wave is the number of wave per second 
the frequency of wave is the number of waves per second it is measured in hertz if the sound sound is measured in hertz the if the sound waves has high frequency it means that more vibration arrive every second it sound higher pitched that means when a sound if the sound is waves has high frequency it means that more vibration arrives every second it sounds higher pitch we can only hear certain frequency of sounds the sound that we can hear from the lowest frequency to the highest frequency is known as our hear ranging say the sound that we hear we can hear from the lowest frequency to highest frequency is known as hearing range so the range is from between for example between what is the hearing range for a human is what from 10 hertz to let's say until here it's coming somewhere here so this is so in between this is going to be the range in between means this range differ widely for for a different animals many animals can hear sound so high pitched or low pitched that we are unable to hear you see that some animals they are able to listen to high pitch sounds and some are low pitch sounds but we are not able to hear because see that any sound beneath this one we will not listen and any sound above this one it will be difficult for us to listen this range differs widely or different animals many animals can hear sound so high pitch or low pitch that we are unable to hear them in figure 1.6.17 b shows the hearing range for different animals as it showed you now There are many sounds that human cannot hear. Infrasound are sound that frequency below our hearing range. So what are the infrasound? The sound below our hearing range. That means there are many sounds that human cannot hear. Infrasound are sound that frequency below our hearing range and ultrasound are the sound those above our hearing range. So ultra, ultrasound are above our hearing range and your infrasound are below our hearing range. The animal world use both infrasound and ultrasound for communication and detection. We have also found useful application for these sound waves that we can hear. So you can see here upper limit ultrasound infrasound 20 hertz and lower uh, limit what are ultra and infrasounds a uh, human can hear sound within a frequency range of 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz the range of that means human hearing is that human can uh, hear the sound within the frequency range of 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz the sound below 20 hertz is called infrasound and sound above 20,000 hertz is known as ultra sound human cannot detect this sound because our ear are not sensitive enough that we are not it's not sensitive enough to listen to uh, the ultrasound that means some uh, the higher than 20,000 or infrasound which are lower than 20 uh, hertz using ultrasound and infrasound where you can use it bats and whales and dolphins imitate ultrasound wave in echolocation to prey predict, uh, predators and obstacles as as we studied before that they use echo that means the sound sound going to hit the prey or the obstacle and it's going to bounce back which is an echo so they can know if there's something so this they use ultra sound 
will imitate waves echolocation to prey predators and obstacle we, we can use devices that generate ultrasound waves and also detect reflect ultrasound that means we are using ultrasounds to detect the uh, ultra waves and also detect the reflect ultrasound there uh, this has led to many useful application i will come to that where we can use ultrasounds here they give an example of an ultrasound can be used to safely scan a body organ and unborn babies allowing check for any unusual that means they use ultrasound scan to check if there's any to check if there's anything wrong with a baby or even for the x-rays they use ultrasounds metal in aircraft part metals in aircraft part and underground pipes can be scanned for crack using ultrasound so they use ultrasound to check if there's any crack in pipes in aircraft parts or underground pipes Sonar involves sending ultrasound through water as I said the ship as I showed you that how ship use sonars and it involves ultrasound through the water and detecting its reflection from an object that means it detects from the object it hits the object the sound hits the object and it reflects back the high frequency of ultra waves means that they transfer energy rapidly means quickly kidney stones can be broken up using ultrasound without the need of surgery that means if there's a stone in a the kidney they can use ultrasound to break the stone surgical equipment electronic components machineries jewelries and teeth can be safely cleaned using ultrasound that means to clean a teeth cleaning a jewelry machineries electronic components surgical equipment can be cleaned using ultrasound uses of infrasound Say that it can be used here. Yeah. Components, machinery, and jewelry and teeth can be safely cleaned using ultrasound. Infrasound, infrasound waves transfer little energy, but they can be detected by microphone. So you can use microphone to detect. Some large animals use infrasound waves. To communicate, sciences can detect these waves to track herds, conservations, and protection projects. Scientists can detect infrasounds for volcanoes are about to erupt. That means they're about to explode. And so warn people to implementing risk. That means they can know that before because our humans, our ears are not that sensitive to listen to that sound. So they use microphones and special equipment to know and so they can tell people if there's any danger from uh, coming from a volcano infrasound can be used to track passages of a metros in a space so preparing us of any pr probably collision right? you use it even a space to avoid any collision How ultra scanner work? It contains special quartz crystal. When changing electric current is passed through the crystal, it vibrates at a very high frequency and emits ultrasound waves. The ultrasound is direct at the object to be scanned. Different parts of the object reflect the ultrasound, so it reflects back by the different amount. When the reflect ultrasound uh, ultra waves hits the same crystal. It produces a very electric current that can be detected. This can be built up into a picture using a computer. So they use when it's been reflected back. So it they can use to convert this thing into a picture using computer. So what's infrasound sounds with high uh, infra infrasound sound with lower frequencies, which is 20 hertz, less than 20 hertz, and ultrasound is higher frequency more than 20,000 uh, 20, hertz so students that's for phases grade 7 
If you have any question, you can ask me. I'm available on Viber from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And as it said, you can find the answers for all these questions in on Madaris.net, a PDF file. You'll find it as a physics answers. Thank you so much.